Okay, so here you can build your own earrings. All right, so let's uh, let's go here. Let's pick a style. Okay, let's choose the setting. Now, when you're building earrings, it's a little bit more involved because now the software is pairing. Okay, so if you're, okay, so whereas here, you, so with the earrings, you're pairing two stones. Okay, so you have stone one and stone two. Okay, now stone one, Okay, you have that. These are the details on stone one. And I have stone two. Now, the the way that I, I pair it is first, um, I look at three things. I look at the color, the clarity, and the measurement. So if this is an H, okay, this is stone one. So if this is an H, the other one could either be an H. Let me see, uh, D, start with D, D, E, F, G, H, I. Yeah, so either it could be a G, H, or I. So if this is a G, then the other one could either be a G, a H, or an I. So this is, this gets a check. If this is V, S, 1, this could either be the same or one up, one down. So that means that the other one could either be a V, V, S, 1, a V, V, S, 2, or a V, S, 2. Yeah, V, S, 2, good. So this is good. And then the last is the measurement. Now, so you have the length, the width, and the ratio. So when you're pairing two uh, diamonds, um, the the length of the other one could could be either the same 6.41 or maximum one tenth going in the positive direction, meaning that the highest it can go up to 6.51 or a tenth going below, which it can go down to 6.31. So that means that the length of the other stone should fall within that range. So let's check. Let's see. And yeah, it does. It's fine. And in this one, 6.55, uh, five, five, the other one, this is the width. So the width for the other one can either be a 6.65 or 6.45 and anything in between. So anything in between 6. Point, I'm sorry, anything in between 4.45 and 4.65 would be good. So let's see. Yeah, 4.48. 4 so um, the lowest you can go is 4.45, so we're good. And this is important because if it's high one tenth, then one stone may look bigger than the other. All right, so now let's click at this diamond. Okay, now, so now we go here, and you can also verify the lat report on both stones. You can now choose the diamonds. Okay. Um, so now at this point, um, and again, um, you see everything is laid out. It gives an estimate when you receive it. You know, always, always to 10 days out. If you want to increase that, we could. Um, and then we hit add to back. Okay, and that's added. All right, you know, with the diamond search tool, the ring builder, the earring.